up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the good old Orc Inspector, ladies and gentlemen. Fully max damage output with damage booster, and no last stand, but three times mar a level six thermonuclear reactor with as much damage output as you can have in this Orc Inspector, okay? Which is known to be the damage dealer among the damage dealers, right? So that's why you guys requested me to show you some footage here, and as you have seen in the intro, this one Orc Inspector we're using right here is going to get 10 kills in a row without dying once in between and uh, the crazy thing about this firepower of these four medium weapons fully maxed is that you can pretty much kill three or four enemies in like five or ten seconds and uh, and then you're empty right and that's the strength of the orcan the sheer amount of insane firepower you have at your disposal until you are empty once you're empty which I'm now the damage output is going to be relatively low, but until you get there, the damage you can inflict is just complete ludicrousness, okay? And that is exactly what we're building on with this video right here, guys. Um, a lot of people have been asking, is the Orc Inspector still good? Because, yeah, an invader with 600,000 health is going to make you run dry on rockets. That's true, but you're going to have him almost killed if you are fully maxed as he, uh, the same way he is, right? He's going to lose most of his HP in the process and your damage statistic is going up for killing an invader or damaging him. Even if he may still live at the end with a little bit of HP left, who knows? Here we had last stand ready and, uh, uh, no, not last stand, what is it? Um, the Quantum Radar module and I already planned ahead. I know the Inquisitor came around and I know the Spectre will still jump, so that Quantum Radar was good for two kills. For the Inquisitor and for the um, for the Spectre that came with stealth, and uh, I knew that my jump would carry me over to all of them. So here we go, boom, tenth kill with the first Spectre. Okay, now if you think this is like a rare occurrence or this just I don't know, it's now happened once here, but um, you know what? Let's go for the same thing again. Let's go for twenty kills with two Spectres. Okay, can we do it? What do you think, guys? Let's get going here, starting with the first one here, the Haichi. Boom! There he goes, okay? We have still good, like, 70% rockets inside. Whoop! Stop firing, because I know this is going to be it for him. Two kills gotten. Still half the rockets in the drum, still half the firepower remaining on this one. And here comes a Falcon, who is very content with firing at me for some reason. Boom! Kill number three. This guy, for whatever reason, looks the other way, and yes, I'm also a little bit lucky right here uh, that he wasn't looking my way. Boom! Kill number four. And now we're empty. Now, for the first time after we respawned, our Orkin rockets are empty after four kills. Five kills now. Godlike. <laughs> oh, man. This thing is so brutal. This is, this is like the sheer brutality of war robots. This setup is the impersonation of brutality. The, the damage output, you, set, like, you, you click fire for half a second and then you let go. Because you know everything you've sent now is enough to take care of the dude. You don't have to worry about him anymore, he's done. Unless he can stealth jump or enter resistance or something, but that's really the only way is to protect yourself from this kind of damage output. And um, I'm also in the course of this video showing you an enemy, not not from this match, but in the next one I think I'm showing you an enemy uh, hangar that I'm fighting against, because some of you guys also say uh, the people you fight seem to be only like, I don't know, level 5 or something. That's not true, most of them are actually um, if not level 12, uh, if not Mark 2, then at least they're relatively high up in the Mark 1, like 11, 12. Not all of them, I can't say all of them are Mark 2 level 12. That's not true, because there's always two or three opponents in there from lower leagues as well. But usually the top three are quite powerful dudes. And I'm going to show you a player later, a hangar, uh, in the next match, which is going to be Moon. But so far we've gotten 16 kills, ladies and gentlemen, with your favorite setup here, the Orc Inspector. And I'm going to make this 18 now by focusing the Bulgazari first and then the attacking uh, Spectre afterwards. Uh, sometimes you also just have to be a little bit smart and careful and a little bit patient, right? Just wait for your time, wait for your opportunity and get in there and sneak them both. And in this case here, I'm having a bit of a problem here with this guy coming from the left and a guy coming from the right. Um, I'm trying to bait this guy into an early stealth jump. Didn't work. I've got four seconds left on the stealth jump. And unfortunately, this guy has now stealth jumped. And I'm seeing the quantum uh, radar on him. So that means even if I do stealth jump, I lose my, uh, my HP anyways. So I waited as long as I could with my stealth jump. I lost almost all HP I've got now. I've... Managed to get him out of the way, um, but barely. 
And now I'm squeezing my back against the wall. Why do I walk around the wall with the back against the wall? Because this way your weapons do not get stuck on the freaking wall all the time. You probably have already noticed if you try to squeeze around the wall and your weapons face the wall, you sometimes get stuck and you just can't walk anymore. That's why I walked backwards against the wall to not get stuck anymore. So, he's activating Quantum Radar module right here. I'm not because I know, first off, I don't want to use it all the time, okay? And secondly, um, I, I, uh, I knew I wasn't, wasn't going to be successful with it. I, don't, I didn't have the time to kill him. But now he thinks he, can, he only needs like one half second of firing at me to kill me. So he ran in, into all these rockets to try and get a little bit of line of sight with me. But of course, that wasn't happening. 19 kills! I need one more! And this is an Haichi, guys. Am I gonna get a full kill against a full Haichi with the recharging shields and I only have two Orkin rockets? Let me just tell you that I've already scouted this Haichi. It's a level 12 mark 1 Haichi. So it's not level 5 or anything, it's level 12, just mark 1. So it's quite far leveled. And uh, I'm jumping backwards, I'm staying out of his 350, uh, 300 meters range with his Orkans, and I'm draining his shield before he even gets into my own range. And as soon as he comes in range, I walk around the corner. I'm conserving all every single rocket I have so that I'm not, I'm not wasting any single rocket anywhere because I cannot afford to do that, otherwise my DPS is not going to be available and high enough to get him down. Now, let's make one last safety jump here in the last possible second and get kill number 10 for this second high, uh, Spectre with Orkins right here, guys. And uh, that is... Um, how much damage have we done? Let's see. 2 million damage. And I remember when the Spectre came and the Orkin Spectre became a thing. By the way, lots of you guys may not even know anymore that the Spectre wasn't called Spectre at first. Do you guys know what the Spectre was called when it came into the game? I'll give you a second to think about before I tell you. Um, we're starting in the next match and uh, it's a Mercury. So what I do here, I bait the Mercury jump so that he thinks he could get to me. I activate obviously Quantum Raider, otherwise you have no chance against the Mercury. And then I need to kill this guy before he goes into stealth, or actually he was already in stealth, before my Quantum Raider disappears. I had to send enough rockets along the way. And I managed to do this, look at this guys. He was already out of, he was already not targetable anymore by the time he came out. Look, boop. This is when my Quantum Raider stopped. But I have sent enough rockets on their way to deal with him before he uh, gets too close. Interesting. <laughs> I'm happy this worked. And uh, I only have half my rockets used. I could still kill another two people and I still could succeed with one clip of Orkins. That's what makes the Orkins what they are. So, the Spectre, what was it called before it came into the, you know, when it came into the test server first? It was first called the Exorcist. That's true guys, that was the original name of the Spectre before it was called Spectre. I don't know, for some reason they wanted to call it the Exorcist and then they decided in the last minute, right before release, that they want to call it the Spectre instead. Maybe Exorcist sounded too, I don't know, harsh. But here it is, you guys remember me, I, I tell you, I show you a hanger, okay? Enemy 4. The guy I'm about to encounter, and yes, I hid his name and his clan. Because I don't want to, you know, show anybody, you know, in a bad light or anything. And uh, I just, I, it, what I want to demonstrate here is that some enemies are really, really high up in the, uh, uh, in the things. Like, usually I have like two of, two of these enemies in my free-for-all matches at least. Um, but sometimes it's only one, but usually it's two of them. And uh, this guy has last stand. And why I'm showing you this is because this guy is about to show up. I'm fighting him now. This is this guy. Okay. Enemy 4. And uh, usually when I play, I notice now last stand. So I conserve my rockets and then I send them when I think the last stand is over. So he dies instantly. And uh, don't fire any additional ro rockets into last stand because you won't really be doing any further damage. Here I misclick. I didn't mean to stealth jump. I only wanted to walk backwards and corner shoot, but I pressed the wrong freaking buttons there and blah, stealth jump gone. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, quantum right around the corner and this is enemy four again. So we have killed enemy four twice now and that means he's got two mercuries, right? Because the first mercury had last stand, the second mercury has no last stand. So that must have been a death different mercury. Enemy 4 seems to be an absolute monster and that is what I already knew right here when I saw these two Mercuries and the fact that there is a last stand highly leveled up on the first one. 
Okay, we've almost killed the entire uh, invader. I, I regret that I didn't check the level of that inc invader. I wish I could have seen, because I've only used half my Orkan rockets and I killed the whole thing, because he probably already had used his, del his jump and he couldn't dodge the rockets anymore. But I wish I knew how much ex HP exactly he had. Um, but I would assume it was still right around 300,000 HP, maybe 320,000, and we got rid of this in like, I don't know, a few seconds, and we could have still done more damage afterwards, because we still had some left. So, getting this guy in midair, and then jumping sideways to get this dude, and I thought this is going to be enough, and then I realized, oh wait a minute, resistance of mercury and healing, I have to send everything I've got, so enemy 4 dies again. And that's what I do when I pre play Free Fall, another enemy 4 coming in. Uh, I know that this is the prime player, I know he is not only second, he also is by far the most important enemy or strongest enemy to deal with, because he's the guy with the last stand, with the two Mercuries, with the Arc Inspector, with all the strong stuff, okay? The Mender Brawler, and, um, and, and you know, he's got everything that you need to have in order to be insanely powerful in Free Fall. So I decided to really give it my absolute very best to get him destroyed. And now he's actually no longer second, right? Because I focused him out so much, he's actually third place now. Enemy 6 has some Vortex and that frustrated me here because I couldn't deal with him. He's got the perfect ridge line to walk around and not get himself killed. And then he's got stealth too. And I was like, come on! At least I was try hoping I could deal some damage to him now. But of course, who's the guy behind me? Who's the guy who gets the kill? Enemy 4, unfortunately, which makes him be second place again. Showing me once again how dangerous enemy 2, uh, sorry, enemy 4 is, uh, and how much I need to take care of him, right? And that is what we're doing right now. And he got, of course, another kill with the spec uh, with the Mercury and the short stealth jump duration on that thing. But what I do now is not killing him. I can't kill him because he's got last stand. But I was able to do is that he, I was able to release his last stand, okay, to use the last stand so that next time he comes, which is I'm forcing him to an early stealth jump now, I knew I wasn't gonna do damage, but I needed to make him stealth jump as soon as possible, that's why I showed myself and fired for a second, just to get him a little bit scared and to make him use the stealth jump, and now since he re he repaired his robot by 50% by now, uh, but he had no more last stand and that's how this Spectre with Orkin still wins against a fully upgraded, fully leveled and last standing Mercury. If you release the last stand early and then you retreat and then you kill it later. Enemy 4 died again right there. And um, so this way I keep enemy 4 in check. I make sure enemy 4 is not going to win a single thing in this match anymore by keep keeping him destroyed. Letting this Spectre run into the rockets. Enemy 2 is behind me. Uh, gets the kill, I think. No, wait a minute. You know what? Who gets the kill? You guessed it. It is enemy... Okay, it's enemy 5. I, I guessed wrong. You guys may have guessed wrong too. It was enemy 5. Enemy 4 seems to have been destroyed and he's no longer in the game. Because I've killed him so much and he got such little kills because of my focus that I've give given him. But let me show you how much damage and kills you can get with an Orc Inspector. Boop. Okay, there goes the first kill. That's like 20% of my firepower. Go on. Okay, there goes the third, uh, second kill. And there comes the third kill and I still have like 20% firepower, 25 left. That would have been enough for another kill. Orc Inspector, ladies and gentlemen, please... I do not want to read in the comment section of the videos anymore that the Orkin, uh, that the Spectre is now worthless because the other robots are so good. Yes, the Ares is ridiculous, I agree. And yes, the Ares should have a short, a longer cooldown between the shield and, and weapons. The cooldown is too short, right? And the same goes for the Mercury. The cooldown on the Mercury jump is way too short. They increased the stealth duration with the update 4.4 or whatever it was. And then they forgot to also increase the cooldown for the stealth jump. The stealth jump of the Mercury is better in any way. It has an explosion and it lasts longer. 
So how is it that it still has a very short cooldown? It makes no sense. That cooldown is too long these days. And the same goes for the Ares. Dude, these two robots need a longer cooldown for their abilities because these abilities are so incredibly powerful. Um, but um, even though we still have them being way too powerful and way too short of a duration uh, to regenerate the cooldown, the Spectre is still a beast. How can anyone think that four medium weapons with great mobility and a stealth jump is not an insane combination, okay? So I think I just wanted to prove with this video that the Orc Inspector is an absolute monster and even if you run it in Mark 1, who cares if you kill three enemies in one go or only two because, well, it's Mark 1. Hey man, this is so much firepower we're talking about and so much positive effects and advantages that the Spectre still has even though the, st uh, the stealth goes a little bit longer uh, slower or not so long as before it's still very dominant it's still very it's probably the top four robots still maybe even top three Ares first Pursuer second and then uh, sorry Ares first Mercury second and third is probably the Spectre in my opinion already because it has such a variety that you can do with it the Vortex Spectre for example the Sniper Ballista Spectre for example you can't be a sniper with the Pursuer the Pursuer has only one purpose and that's why the Pursuer gets on place four not place three for me uh, because there's only a Rusher or Beacon Capper it can't be a sniper and uh, the Spectre can the Spectre can cover the whole range spectrum of all possible usage except a tank maybe <laughs> it's not a good tank um and then well falcon invader where do we place those those are a little bit different those are tanks they aren't really in the damage assassin category but still anyways i, I just i'm done with this video I, i'm going way too long here so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more thanks for bearing with me. you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye